Hi everyone, Sabrina Kathleen here, the wellness lawyer. How are you doing? <sighs> so, today I was outside stringing up some more of my little glass things that I have been making the things out of broken. It's so funny that I should be talking to you about broken things while well, I was making some broken things. But I was. I was out stringing up. Today's weather is not sunny and bright. We've been having sunny and bright weather, and I know a lot of you have snow, and I feel really bad for you um, for that. And if it makes you feel any better at all, I was going out today looking forward to some getting some sunshine, and it's not sunshine weather at all. It's really actually quite cold up in two, um, um, what do you call them, sweats or little jackets or something like that. But I was outside, and I was doing some just things that I needed to do. Some artwork, some expressions, some handwork, some doing some soul care for me. And wouldn't you know it, what happens when I'm out here? Everything was all good, and everything was all fun, and not just fun, everything, I was fine. I was good, I was golden. I was going about my day, I was doing good. And of course, because I was doing good, and you, I think that we have tests, we always have to have these tests. Um, my, I put my phone down. I was, I was doing my little artwork. I was getting ready to, to hang more of these. So I sat them down and then I sat my phone down. And as I sat my phone down and I started to walk away, it went like this. And I saw it heading towards the bricks, the, the bricks here. These, uh, you can see what I'm sitting on, these big cement pavers. It headed towards there and my stomach immediately went sick. And I was hoping, please don't break, but you know, it did crash, completely broken, it's shattered. And um, so, of course, I got that sickening feeling, and I thought I was going to throw up. I didn't throw up, I didn't cry, I didn't have a fit, I was really amazed. I picked it up and I saw that, yeah, it's completely broken, completely broken, it's shattered, it is working, amazingly. <sighs> so, this gut feeling that I had, this gut feeling of terror and dread that my phone, you know, there it goes, it's broken and it's not working. It is working right now, thankfully, and I'm still working. Um, and I was able to keep my stuff together because I have been working on building my microbiome, which keeps myself, you know, centered and straight and able to, to focus. But the gut thing, the gut reaction, the gut reaction of the sickening feeling as I knew that my phone was falling and crashing towards the, the rocks there and it broke. And it's, so now um, I didn't need a new phone at all. I am not in the market for a new phone. I did not want to have to purchase a new phone or anything else right now. Um, but ta-da! Now I have this. So before I would have flew off the handle because I didn't have my gut straight and my 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 brain would have said just what the heck you know and ah, because I've had meltdowns over smaller things than my screen crashing before and you know the, the shattered screen of my phone I have no need to buy a new phone or a screen or anything like that but now I do apparently apparently I had to be tested to see my test of attitude how I was gonna hold up during all these times the times of needing my phone and trying to be conscientious of spending and so forth. So just another test, but I held it together and I held it together only because I have been building on this system, building on my microbiome. I don't know if you know or not, I've been trying to explain and share, but because I get tied tongue or tongue tied over my words and what I'm trying to deliver and share with y'all is that we have a microbiome in our gut. Our gut is our second brain. Our second brain is our communication with our brain so that we have what we need um, so that we can respond in a way. So I could have blew up, um, it, you know, and I would have been justified, but that wouldn't have done me any good. So, you know, that sympathetic nervous system that says, Ugh, you know, your phone just died, there goes everything. I could have really reacted into that, especially with everything going on, but I didn't because I've been working really hard on strengthening me and making sure that I don't blow up over little things like that. Not that this was a little, but keeping my mood in check, you know, with, I've got a hair in my face, I think, I can't tell with all the scracks here, um, but I did feel something. I have been working really diligently because I do struggle with ups and downs of moods and things going on. Who can relate to struggling with mood? And you can say that, you know, there's 
plenty of reason to struggle with mood. I have had a list long full of diagnoses that say, you know, you're entitled to have moods. <laughs> so if you can relate to that, you know, having mood issues, it's not a bad thing. It's okay. We're dealing with a lot of stuff. We're under a lot of stress. We have a lot of issues and we can have a mood and we're allowed to react. But if you don't want to be controlled by your reactions, if you would prefer to respond <sighs> instead of react and go off the handle and have the all the crap that goes along with it because I could have who knows what you know would have but I'm so grateful that I didn't and it just reminded me of the fact that I've come a long way and only because I have taken such good care of my gut and feeding myself the good things because you know food is really essential it's really important how we feed ourselves and how we take care of ourselves and our temple and we are able to have you know our gut speak to our brain so that we can have the stuff that we need at the time when we need it you know because I don't want to be a crazy mama I don't want to be one of these people that are out of control I don't want to scream and overreact over stuff and I'm willing to bet that you don't want to do that either so I was so happy that I was able to keep my shit together over my broken screen and whatever comes of this because before I could have been a crazy woman over it and I didn't and only because I've been so good about being, you know, doing the things that I need, eating correctly and getting the right nutrients and the minerals and addressing my gut brain access, which is, um, of course, because I'm trying to think of it, the vagus nerve. So I'm sure you guys have heard me speak about that before. If you don't know about your microbiome and your vagus nerve and about your central nervous system, hit me up. I'd love to share all the information I have with you. I've got a zillion million resources that are free. Um, if you know if you need mindfulness techniques or um, anything, I need to take a sip of my hot tea here. I'm getting tongue-tied. <laughs> if you need a nice hot tea, this is an energy brain tea because we need more of that, right? Coping skills and energy and resources. So, you know, it's not sunny, so I have to create my own sunshine. And especially when there aren't outside resources that you can call on, you know, and you've got to dig deep and get within. It is up to us. It is always up to us. Nothing on the outside is going to fix. We always have to fix from within. And that's what I want to be able to do with you, as I want to be able to share with you the tools that I have to empower you so that you can be badass as well. Um, you know, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself that I didn't melt down. I didn't cry. I didn't scream. I don't even know if I swore out loud, which was remarkable because I like to swear. <laughs> so, uh, but I kept it together. The second brain, you know, I don't know. How much do you know about your second brain? Did you know that you had a second brain? Did you know that your gut, that gut feeling, there's a reason for that gut feeling, our sympathetic nervous system and about our microbiome and about how we have all those neurotransmitters that it goes to our brain and our emotions and our mood. Did you realize that there's a reason for that? <laughs> that you're not just crazy? That you're not just flipping out for no reason? There's a lot of times that we react and we can't react the way we want to react because we don't have things that are flowing appropriately and we don't have the chemicals that we need we're not producing you know our body's not producing the neurotransmitters that we need you know our serotonin our happy things to keep us happy when it's gray out and when it's cold out and when you break your phone <laughs> so i'm laughing can you believe it i'm laughing i broke my phone and i'm still able to laugh it's amazing hi did it happen to you too i'm gonna stop and read this so give me a second uh you got another phone and now the power button doesn't work oh my gosh crazy yeah so I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna have to do or anything about my phone we'll see what's gonna go but you know it doesn't matter whatever it is it is the thing that I need to make sure that is it doesn't destroy my peace you know because it's our peace right whatever's gonna come whatever's gonna come at us it will always come at us we're always gonna have something but we have to make sure that we have ourselves, we have our own back, that we're like, okay, it's all right, this is it, this is fine, this is funny, we're gonna handle this too. So we're not gonna overreact, we're not gonna let it topple our barrel of apples and spoil everything, we're not gonna drop the precious food on the floor, right? We're gonna cherish it, we're gonna cherish a moment, we're gonna test our skills that we have, and we're gonna know that we've got this, that I've got this. <sighs> breathe you know whatever it is I'll get through it we always do and I'm getting stronger so although those of you that have watched me on this journey of my my crazy hood thank you for sticking in with me and 
uh, and just know that it's doable. I'm so I'm grateful that I'm able to breathe. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> we smile, we breathe, mm. we feel, we take care of ourselves. Like I said, today was an art day getting outside. So I was talking about broken things, right? My broken things, I was making beautiful things out of. Who knows what I'm going to turn my phone into <laughs> next. But, you know, even if I can't turn the phone into something beautiful, I can turn the moment into something beautiful, right? So the beautiful thing out of this was I didn't blow up. I didn't blow up. Yay. I kept my shit together even though my screen is fried. And it's still working for the moment. So I'm grateful for that. So we hang on to gratitude, gratitude, right? Always, always be gratitude. Be gracious. Be grateful. Someday I'll get my words together. You know what I need? I need food. Um, it's, it's enough. It was time for me to go in anyway. And that was another thing. Time to get food. So we have to eat purposefully. And that's what I wanted to do. But before I did that, I wanted to stop. And just share with you that, you know, that gut feeling, there's a reason for that. And in case you didn't know yet, I wanted to just stop you just for a minute and say, that gut feeling is there for a reason. It is your sympathetic nervous system. We have nerves all the way through our body, right? You can't deny it. And in our body, in our, our system, our gut, our stomach, it, it, we have a microbiome system that is our supercomputer. And our supercomputer talks to our brain talks to the rest of our body. And everything in our supercomputer is essentially through our microbiome. You know, we have to have a good, healthy microbiome to help our body, our supercomputer, feed the rest of our body so it can do the magic that it has to do. And if we feed our body crap, we're going to get crap, we're going to short circuit, we're going to have disease, we're going to have lots of issues. I've been working on healing a lot of crap out of my own body and my disease and I'm making progress and I'm so grateful for it and thank you thank you thank you for watching me and encouraging me and being encouraged by me I really appreciate the love that you give me it helps me be strong and share more with you because this isn't natural this isn't normally a comfortable thing for me I'm doing a lot I'm sharing I'm exposing my entire being to you guys in hopes to help you because I know what a difference it's made in my life and in my family's life. And because of that, I want you to know if you suffer from an incurable disease. I did. I've had them. I have a, a whole freaking list of them. Incurable diseases. I shouldn't be happy. But you know what? I am. I'm as happy as F. And I'm going to be even happier because I know what is available and I keep getting stronger. And I want the same for you. I want to empower you so that you can overcome any illness. It's possible. I believe it. I know it. I'm doing it. I'm making it happen. And you can do it too. So know that your gut is your powerful supercomputer. What that sound like? Gut. Gut response, right? Yeah. Power baby is in the gut. was refreshing, wasn't it? You feel the vibration? Well, you can't, but I did. <laughs> so I felt it for you. Anyways, I'm going to wrap things up. Thank you for hanging in with me. Know that there is a reason for it. Know that in all my craziness, I do have a message. Please know that um, I'm, I'm trying to help you. I want you to be strong and happy and powerful too. So <sighs> you can do this. I hope you're happy and healthy. I hope you're safe and you're well. And I hope you're warm and you have power. And I hope that you can keep it together when you feel shattered too. I'm not shattered. It's just a screen. It's just a material thing. We have to look for the beauty, right? There's always a beauty. There's always a gift. There's always a silver lining. There's always something there. So I was able to see it even through my broken phone. And that's what I want for you too. If you're sick, I want you to be well. And if you're well, I want you to be awesome. So that's my wish for you. Okay, much love. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Toodaloo! Bye for now.